Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Henrik's Restorations. Today's episode we're gonna fix this door lock that I'm working on right now. Because you can see I'm having a hard time closing the door on Hulda. So follow along in this video to see how I replace the door lock. If you like the video please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and click like and also put on the notification bell so you get notified when I'm uploading new videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, and let's see how it works out. I removed the first pin from the inner handle. It's located in a plastic like fitting here. I just used a wrench and it's like carefully clicked it out so you don't break this small little plastic holder here. And then I just will lay it inside. So this is the locking button here. There we go. And then we have a clip here. Uh, let's use a small one here that we will just flip up. It 
this one I lost inside the door on my 984. So this is a clip that is easy to lose inside the door, so be careful. And that one is holding the locking rod from the lock. Let's see. But in here, you have a connecting rod, but up here, is a rod going from the exterior handle. It's located in a round plastic with a metal clip around that goes down to the lock mechanism. It's very hard to see, but if you follow step by step in the Haynes manual, it should be okay. So now I actually think the lock is Free. So let's see if we can undo these. Let's see if we can get it out. See if we have any spaces here that we want to keep. One quite big washer that we'll keep in our small basket. And then on the outside here, we have two Phillips screws. Use this one when you push down and then you hammer on it, it just forces to spin around because these screws on this outside were not a joke. And even though I broke them loose, they are still terribly solid. But it seems like they are coming out now, yeah. I'm undoing the last screw here, so now the lock mechanism should be loose. There we go. What another door with a working lock, so I will do the same procedure on that door. Remove that lock mechanism and then we're going to try to implant it in this door. And hopefully we can get it to work so we can close this one. Next up. So this is the donor door. Pretty much the same. It's a little bit older with the, the wooden piece up top instead of the other one. And it has the round locking thingy. But here's the two different locks. This is the, from the donor door and this is from the hube. Very much the same, um, not any difference in particular. So I will just remount this in Hubba. Let's go. Let's hope we can get it in place. So the first thing is to relocate it with the screws here. Let's hope my fingers isn't crushed. That's one screw. And now we have the thicker shim here on this side. Let's see, let's not lose the shim. There we go. We'll reattach all the connecting rods so we have everything in place. And I will just go backwards from now. And then the retaining clip. There we go. So that is attached now and then we have the locking rod that is not too short because that was the wrong one Whew, I was a little bit scared there yes I was 
There's the uh, connector rod, and then we have the small pin or the clip. So that is first around the pin here where it's going through, and then you click it down. There we go. And then we have the locking rod from no from the inside handle. Let's see. And let's click it in. There we go. Ta-da! That's it. But now we have to see if the door actually works. This button clicks out. That's good. We have a locking mechanism. Should work. Let's see. Hopefully it works. Okay, so I will just remove the light bar up top and then close the door and hopefully we can open it again. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Yes, it's closed and it can open. Yeehaw! What is that knock? But at least it closes. <laughs> yes. It feels so amazing to be able to fix stuff. So I'll just do the last screw here and then get the board back. Let's go. I think. There we go. Oh, the beer. Let's see, we have the door card in place, everything in place here. Let's see if it still works. Kaboom! Oh yeah! Motherfucker! Inside my Range Rover. Okay, guys, that is it for tonight. We saved that left rear door by changing that door lock. So I'm just gonna turn off the music. Country on the radio. So we changed the door lock by removing this old piece that didn't work and it's very uh, rusted out in some places and uh, yeah, did not work. I will save it because you never know if you can fix it or need some parts out of it. So, But the door is fixed and it's working very, very nicely. So yeah, I'm super happy. It's about... 
10.47 in the evening, so I will go to bed ASAP. Um, but thank you for watching this like how-to video and, and some of the progress on this beautiful Range Rover Classic Hube. That is my friend Johan's car that I'm working on. Please click subscribe, click like, leave a comment and then also click the notification bell so you get notified when I'm uploading a new video. So yeah, I'll go to bed now. See you in the next episode. Ciao!